He said, I went and served my country. Dude, since World War II, anybody who's gone in the military has become a mercenary. I'm sorry. I respect the military. I respect military people. You went to a war for, for Dick Cheney's Halliburton. Facts. Facts. Come, come, come brag about your service to me, bro. I'm not fooling you. you know. And then when a freedom fighter comes along, they want to they wanna be upset that I'm a, a hardcore, diehard mother, right? They want to be so mad that I'm that way. I hope you burn in hell. I hope you burn in hell, and I hope your kids get burned in hell. I think you're horrible. Well, hey guys, welcome to Rodney's Freedom Press. Glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. You know, uh, Bits let me get on here to talk a little bit. You know, tomorrow's a Veterans Day. Means a lot of you guys will be off work, going to some parades, having some barbecues, going swimming, going to strip clubs, shooting some meth, stuff like that, drinking 30 pack of uh, good old fashioned Keystone Light. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be drinking some of this shit. That, that put the hair on the cover. Tell you what. One of the best drinks I ever had. It really, really, really does. It does me pretty good. Yeah, I got to thinking about the veterans. I've been thinking about the police officers, service members, fire operators, ambulance people, post office people, librarians, social securities, schools. The thing about all these people, got these so-called First Amendment auditors, call them frauders again. They go around with their cameras and their microphones, filming kids, which I don't know why they do that. I think a lot of them probably pedophiles. They just like to film kids going into schools and causing all kinds of ruckus. They go down to the Social Security office. Causing all kinds of problems because they didn't get their social security check because they was caught outside drinking, smoking, going out there with their cameras working, saying they're not working, playing the system. A lot of these people just play the system. They got criminal records up the wazoo and all that bullshit. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Uh, one of the things that's really got me lately, is there a lawyer out there? You know, somebody's supposed to help people fight for the law. Lawyer, but really disappointed me. He's a veteran. Says he is anyways. He was says he's a Marine. Went to boot camp or something like that and got sent home. Not sure if he was a pussy or something, maybe. I don't know. I respect him trying, though. Name's Michael Eline. By the way, this is all my opinion. I, I don't know. <laughs> I love the First Amendment, man. It's a great thing. I love my right to protest. It's just a pretty damn cool thing, you know. At least I know. I know the Constitution. I got it right here. I got the actual copy of it. Bought it from uh, some guy at a yard sale uh, down there in uh, West Virginia. Had an original copy. I bought it for this. about $150. Anyways, gets on there. Talks about how he loves veterans. Talks about your rights. But gets on another guy's website named Delete Laws that openly, as we've proven, disrespects the veterans, service members, police officers, you name it, he does it. Going over to the DMV, using his rights the wrong way, just threatening to sue people. But And the guys are saying he's fighting for your freedom. Currently in jail, crying like a pussy every other day, getting on there, saying, oh, God, the jail's so bad. Buddy, I've been to jail. Back in Vietnam, bud. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Damn fucking pussy. Could even make it down as a power ranger. What do you think? He's down there begging for money and crying every fucking day, saying the George Zimmerman or whatever her name is. He ain't fucking know what he's talking about. Dude's got so much Botox in his fucking brain that he just lost it. But you got this fucking lawyer out there saying that he loves being a veteran and gets in his army fatigues or his marine fatigues and gets on there saying how much he loves the veterans and turns around and simps for this guy that openly disrespects veterans. You know, I don't know why his veteran friends or any other veterans in this uh, fine country would say about that, you know? Pretty sure they wouldn't be too happy.
Oh, God. Damn. <coughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That's, I'm starting to feel my pubes grow in there. <laughs> Damn. That's straight up fucking gasoline. It says grande right there. Grande wormwood. Green anus. Sweet fennel. High sop. And Roman wormwood. It got all kind of kinds of wormwoods in there. I don't even know what a wormwood is, but it's pretty damn good, man. Uh, feeling freedom in my chest. I'm feeling from my chest down to my pecker, boys. <laughs> man. You know, I used to think it would be okay to get in the car one day and drink about 30 pack of my favorite, uh, beverage at Jim Bean Devil's Cut and uh, just driving down the road about 90 into 35 plowing into some children and stuff and I got to thinking so you know that's a selfish thing to do take another person's life just because I decided to get behind the wheel of a car and go drinking or you know shooting the fitting hole in my ball sack and driving and running into a family you know they say DUI is a victimless crime I beg to differ. I've watched a lot of videos lately. A bunch of people that lost their lives due to some motherfucker getting behind the wheel and deciding to drive instead of, you know, handing the keys to somebody else or just calming down. A lot of people lost their lives. Their dads, their moms, their brothers, their sisters, their dogs, strippers, prostitutes, you know, that kind of stuff. That ain't fun, man. That ain't funny. Neither are these people that's going around filming children. I don't know why they're feeling filming children. They think it's okay to go to a school or something like that or playground and film kids. And they probably put them on the dark web, probably some kind of porn sites or something like that. Because most of these guys, most of these files probably. A lot of them have criminal records out the walls who can't stay out of fucking jail. So they figured they'd try to save the system by getting down there and getting their cameras out and harassing some lady at the fucking DMV. Telling her how big of a fat cunt she is, all because she wouldn't turn over a bunch of private information. But for freedom, you know, for freedom. <laughs> Got a whole lot of them just causing all kinds of trouble. But, the, you know, they say they're in there, right? And they know there for a while, I was going down that road. And, you know, I think, uh, I think a lot, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. A lot of mistakes in my life. But I am going to stick up for veterans. Man, that's one of those things I'm going to do. I'm going to stick up to those veterans, and I'm going to tell that Michael E. Lyons, hey, buddy, you're on the wrong side. Yeah, I was looking down on those live streams on his chan on the Delete Laws channel. Looks like a bunch of them got deleted. He hasn't been streaming on the Delete Laws thing ever since we posted that. He also took down one of our actual posts on the community page. That's what it looked like. Again, it's my opinion. I can't prove it. But I do love me some first amendment, you know, Love their actual First Amendment, you know? Because I actually fucking know the Constitution. Article 2 says, hey, get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. That's what it says. It says it right there in the American Constitution. It says, get the fuck out of the way here, motherfucker. I ain't playing around, man. I ain't playing around. I'm as American as they come. I pissed the red, white, and blue. Believe me. I got to go see a doctor for that, but I do piss red, white, and blue. You can say it's in my uh, in my veins, in my blood. You know, I took a lot, of, a lot of hits to the head back in the day. Took a lot of heroin and crocodile and stuffed some wellbutrin up my pee hole. I thought I was fighting for freedom, man. That's what I thought. Exactly what I thought. I don't even know what I'm fighting for anymore. What I do know is I'm fighting... Protect the veterans against these false peace motherfuckers. Know what I mean? Rodney ain't gonna stand for that shit anymore. Rodney's gonna stand for peace and absolution. Sure, like I said, we do have a lot of bad faith actors, bad politicians, and bad police officers. Bad everything. We have a lot of bad things. But you don't see these motherfucking guys. You don't see these guys going across the border into Mexico or Pakistan or Rizali or uh, the Congo or something like that filming the police because they get their damn heads chopped off. Only in America can you get in there, come in this country 
and talk about how you hate the country, but then again, say you're a fucking patriot. You ain't fucking Mel Gibson, brother. I watched The Patriot. That's a fucking good documentary, man. Can't believe they shot that. That was a long time ago. These same motherfuckers probably wouldn't even last a minute in the boots in the ground. A lot of them say they can beat up the police, beat up an army officer, saying how big but badass. But like I said, again, they start crying to the police whenever somebody walks up to them and stands up to them because they don't like freedom of press when it comes to somebody else. These people aren't press. They don't have press credentials. These people are just fucking retards. That's all they are. And I'm sorry for dropping a hard R on that. That's just what they are. It's just what they are. They're dumb. It's the cringiest motherfucking shit I've ever seen in my life. So, Michael Weedline, let me go and tell you, brother. You need to go ahead and stop. You need to stop doing your shit. If you're a Marine and you're simping for some guy that hates the veterans and says he loves the veterans but disrespects the veterans, somebody that has a history of domestic violence and wishes bone cancer on children, Somebody that does not know anything about the law except for what he read in a book. He just reads it, get the cliff notes, and says he's right. Got a bunch of fucking drones in there thinking Chili's a big. He, they think he's Jesus Christ. The majority of them's boss anyways. He's only about three, four thousand dollars, three or four thousand people watching his stream. Not streams, but yeah, maybe his streams like every once in a while. Maybe his videos. I don't even think that. But Michael Eline, you're supposed to be somebody that stands for something. You're supposed to be a Marine. You're somebody that's supposed to fight for our freedom. But here you are. Is it for money? Is it because Kim Kardashian done it? What are you thinking, bro? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Well, I think I'm done here, guys. I think I'm done here. I'm going to take one more shot for freedom. Because, uh, you know, I hope you guys have a great uh, Veterans Day. Hope you get some uh, fucking hamburgers and... Holy crap. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's 124. This is a trade of gasoline. 124 proof. I'm going to be drunk as hell, man. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord. I'm already sweating bullets. I'm sweating freedom, not bullets, man. Sweating freedom. So tomorrow, be sure to watch your veterans. Thank them. Remember this Constitution. I also wanted to show you guys something really quick. Let me pull it up here. Something you guys would really like. I'm going to start selling, probably. Actually, I might just give it for free because I feel like it's actually useful information that you guys are just going to need. Uh, you know, I know some people are selling trifolds and stuff. They're selling them. But I don't want to sell a shit. I'm not wanting to make any money from it. You know, I want you to be able to protect your freedoms. A lot of it's outdated, okay? This is from before. I'm going to have to, you know, redo this one day. Well, let, let's go into there. So we got the freedom, trifles of freedom. This is what the frauders, this is the sovereign citizen. This is for sovereign citizens, you know. You know, I made this because, you know, a lot of them are racist. They like beating their wives and they don't like women or post office people or librarians, the police. They like to drink and drive and they like to steal your money because they're bitches. You know, hashtag free chili. Fuck that guy. But this is a uh, this is the freedom trifold of freedom. You get a bonus page. It's not just a trifold. It's a trifold with four pages. Man, that's fucking cool, right? Am I right? Maybe that's four pages. I don't know. How fucking count. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna get off here, listen to some Merle Haggard, and play with my dog, and probably get some sex or something like that. I don't know. I. I haven't seen my goat for a while, so I figured go hang out with my goat and, uh, you know, check out some old nudie magazines from the 80s, the good stuff, you know, when Bush was cool. All right, guys, thank you so much. Happy freedom, and I'll see you soon.